All right, guys, so after a lot of requests on TikTok, I'm finally doing this color grading tutorial. So if you wanna take your videos from this to this, this to that, or even your photos from looking like this to that, I'll show you how you guys can use the LUTs, power grades, and presets listed in the link in my bio on DaVinci and Lightroom. This video will be separated in three sections. So if you wanna skip ahead to the part that interests you, it should be listed down below. Little heads up, I'll show you how to use it on DaVinci Resolve, but these LUTs can also be used on Premiere Pro or any other softwares. Also, the power grades are only available on DaVinci Resolve. So if you're editing on Premiere Pro, I highly suggest to only get the LUT pack and it should do just fine. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I recommend doing when you open DaVinci Resolve or a new project, just go into settings. If you're on Mac, change the timeline color space from Rec. 709 to Rec. 709A. Same with the output color space. If you're on Windows, you don't have to do that. But if you don't on Mac, your exports will look undersaturated so that's really important second step just drag your folders in your video folders i already have mine in the timeline so if you want your video to look like that i highly suggest doing four nodes like this i know this isn't like the most professional way to do it but it works fine for me and it's pretty efficient so now that i have nothing in my nodes panel i'll separate it in four nodes like i showed before so i'll do that all right, so now I have my four nodes. I always keep the first one for exposure, the second one for the colors modifications, the third one for LUTs, and the fourth one for the color space transform. So first of all, we'll do the color space transform. So open the effects tab, drag it on the CST node, and then you'll need to find out what is uh, the input color space, the input gamma, and all of these settings. I use Sony S-Log3, so I use uh, Sony S-Gamut3 Cine, and the input is Sony S-Log3. You always want your output color space to be Rec. 709, and same with the output gamma, so Rec. 709 as well. So now you get a pretty flat looking picture, doesn't look that great, but that's where our LUT pack comes into place. If you uh, bought it in the website, you should get a folder pretty much like this. Have them ready in a folder. What you wanna do is open your settings, go into the color management tab, then uh, open your LUT folder. This is all of your LUTs that you already have in DaVinci, but you want new ones. So take this folder, find these films LUTs, you can name it whatever you want, drag it in. Once it's in, just have to update lists and save it. Once it's updated, you'll find this uh, folder somewhere. So I have it here, Fun Days Film Slut. So this is pretty much a summer shot that I took. So I'll use the Fun Days Summer LUT. As you can see, it's already looking better. So I take it and drag it onto the LUTs panel. Now that is in, it's looking great, but we can still tweak a little bit of things. The first thing I like to do is drag down my highlights in the colors. So I go in the wheels here, select the lug wheels and drag down my highlights to the maximum. As you can see, this lets us see the colors in the sky and I think it looks great. That's what I do first. And then you can always come in here in the exposure tab to play it with your exposure. This looks pretty great, maybe a little lower. So yeah. That's pretty much it. If you wanna play with your skin tones or any specific color, I highly suggest using this new tab available in DaVinci Resolve 19. You can really just change any color you want. As you can see, I click on that. We can see it only selects the skin. If you wanna make it look more orange, drag that up and more natural, just drag it down. Play with that a little bit until I think it looks great like that. And I also do that with the leaves and the blue you can see the sky is looking great but not enough saturated in my opinion so i drag it up you can see the sky becomes so much clearer same with the leaves sometimes it catches them as yellow and not green so i take my yellow and i drag it down towards the green so now it looks greener you can pretty much take your footage from looking like this to this in a couple seconds with my LUT pack so i highly suggest you try it out 
Here you can see I did pretty much the same but with the winter LUT. So if I want to reset this node, you can see that it's pretty much only in Rec 709 right now. And if I take my winter LUT, I drag it on there. It looks really better in my opinion. Here you can see that I played with the red a lot. I dragged it up to make his winter coat look better. I think these are small tricks that can make your videos look 10 times better in a really small time. So I highly suggest that. All right. So to summarize all up, play with exposure, play with your colors, drag down the highlights and use the LUT. You should have a pretty good result with that. All right, so now I'll show you how to use the power grades, which is pretty much the same thing. It is just a lot faster. So if I take all of that off, so if you guys downloaded the power grades, you have something like that. Uh, these are DPX files and DRX files, which are pretty much just power grades files. So if you want to upload them in DaVinci Resolve, it's pretty simple. Just head into gallery and you'll see a power grade section right over here. Just take one of these, either the DPX or the DRX. So just drag one in and you should have your power grade right here. So you can take it and drop it in. If you didn't upload the LUT folder in before, this might be red and not working. So you just need to head back in my video and look how I uploaded my LUTs in and go in your LUTs folder and just drag and drop it on the LUTs panel. As you can see, I already have my nodes lined up and my highlights are already lower because I pretty much do that with every of my shots. Um, you can always come and play with it a bit. As you can see, this one works pretty well. But if I use this one, for example, maybe the lighting would be different. As you can see, it's not looking as great as it did two seconds ago. Because I played with the skin tones and all of that that I showed you just before. So yeah, using the power grades, it pretty much just makes you skip the whole steps. If you guys are wondering if the LUTs and the power grade do work with interior footage, I have an example right here. One of my friends used my pack on this and I think it looks so good even though it's inside. So these colors pretty much work with every kind of environment. You just need to adapt the exposure. Two small things I forgot to mention. You pretty much always wanna color correct your footage in the colors page. What I do is I use this little drop tool in here in the log wheels and I select the place that looks the wider possible. So you wanna take maybe clouds or the t-shirt here. And this will adapt your scene, color correct it the perfect way so that your whites are always white. Another little trick that I do sometimes to get a really nice sky is adding a little node in between the LUT and the colors node. Coming right here with the qualifier and selecting the sky. Right now it looks like nothing changes, but it's like you only selected the sky. So now you can come here and make it a little more blue. I already did it, but you can see if I play with the white balance, I'll make it a little bit more blue. The only problem is right now that it matches with my shirt. So you can see we have like really unnatural kind of shadows on my shirt right now. It's not looking great. So an easy trick you can do with that, just take the qualifier and draw on your subject. You can see here, it automatically removed the little shadows. The sky is looking great. I'm looking great too. So just click these double arrows here. It should track until the end. Once it's finished tracking, you can see my shirt looks great, no shadows. That's a little tweak you can use to make your sky look more blue. I love it, it's simple and it brings more life in your shots. Last thing you can do, I don't really do it anymore, but I used to do it in some of my videos. You can add a little effect, add another node and drop this halation effect. Once you have the halation effect, just drag it and drop it on your last node. As you can see, it makes it look a bit more cinematic. You can play with it. I think it looks good like that, so I'll leave it like that. But you can always play with all of these settings to make it look the way you want. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to edit your photos so that they look like my videos. I've tried this with some of the photos I took in Cuba last year, and I think it looks pretty great. So if you purchased any of the LUTs or the LUT pack, I included an XMP file in it, which is a Lightroom preset. So normally you'll only have to go right here, import your own profiles, and you'll use a XMP file like that. For some reason, it isn't working right now. Like it used to work, maybe it'll work for you. 
If it doesn't work that way, I'll show you a easy fix. It takes one minute. You just need to follow these simple instructions and you'll be just fine. So first of all, you'll need to open Lightroom Classic with the photo you wanna edit. This one isn't the same, but it doesn't really matter. So first of all, make sure you're in the development page, double click it and open the edit in Photoshop 2025, whatever it is. Now it'll open your Photoshop. So just open it like that. Once you're here, just head over to filter up there and open camera raw filter. Once that is open, just reach the little three dots here. And what you wanna do is click on that, create a preset, but hold on to the option key in the same time. I don't know what it is in Windows, but it should be one of these button right there. Once you click it holding options, it'll open a little window like that. Once that is opened, name whatever you want it to be named. I'll name mine uh, Summer Test. Then head over down here and click on this little square. It'll open your files. Once you open that up, don't use the XMP file, just use the point cube file. So the treaty LUT file. Once you're in here, select your LUT. For this one, I'll use the Fundy Summer. Now that it's in, just click OK here, OK here, and just quit all that. Then you'll have to uh, close Lightroom Classics 2. Open it back up. Once you've opened that back up, just come here in the little presets section and you should have under user profiles your summer preset. So mine is right here. I already applied it to this picture, so that's why it looks oversaturated like that. But now that it's here, you can just right click, go show in Finder. Now you have a completely new XMP file. This one, you should be able to use it in Lightroom. So what I'll do is I'll just take it and drag it in downloads and now we come here back in our Lightroom CC and we'll want to do pretty much the same thing as I showed you at the beginning of the video so just import profile and now head in downloads you'll have your summer test right here and now it should work I don't know why that tweaks it and it works but that's the only way I found right now so as you can see summer test is up here now I have a beautiful edit. You can always play with the colors. I do pretty much the same thing as in my videos. I'll bring down the highlights and the whites so that we can have a better sky. And that's pretty much it. You can always come and play with the skin tones as well. What I do is open this color tab and take this little qualifier here apply it on the skin tones. And now I can play with pretty much everything. So if you want to if you want to look more tan, just bring that up. I like it a little tan like that. And that's pretty much it. Like, look at this picture, how it looked in the beginning versus right now. I think the presets are pretty good. All right, so that pretty much sums it all up. I hope that you guys understood pretty much everything. If you have any questions, just comment below. Just a little reminder, if you want to get your LUTs, power grades, and presets, they're available down there. If you want the presets for Lightroom, they are listed with the LUTs bundle and not the power grades bundle. If you like the video, please drop a follow. I'll be making other YouTube videos in the near future.